Welcome back to the session of Anubhav Shah Photography. In this session, we are going to talk about smoke effect in Photoshop. The smoke effect is a very beautiful effect in Photoshop, in which you can add a very astonishing results in your images. We will see how to convert this to this. So this is the new session of your Artful Series. And in this session, we will talk about the smoke effect in Photoshop. फुल सीरीज और इसमें क्विकली जानेंगे कि स्मोक इफेक्ट को किस तरह से जनरेट किया जाता है और स्टॉरिशिंग रिजल्ट अचीव किए जाते हैं बाई द वे स्मोकिंग इज इंजूरियस टू हेल्प Do not smoke. So just start quickly with our warm welcome note. Hello, wonderful people. This is Anubhav Sharma from Anubhav Shah Photography. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right. First thing first, let's open Photoshop and open the model image. So for this session, we are going to use this pretty model, which I downloaded from unsplash.com, and this beautiful artwork is from Devon. So let's start quickly. First of all, we will just double click on background and we will convert it to the layer. And now we will just cut this model face and place it to the white background. We will use quick selection tool to perform this particular task. We have already made several tutorials that how to use quick selection tool. So I will just forward the steps quickly to save your time. And please check the sessions of quick selection tool in I button. That will help you to understand. So let's perform it very quickly. All right. Once this is done, we will just press C to crop it, and we will adjust the height and width of the canvas as per our requirements. Press Enter. Just quickly press on layer thumbnail. Press Command T to transform and rotate the image as per your requirement. We'll just keep it here so that we will have some room or space here to make the smoke effect. Press Enter. Now we will just make another layer. We will just keep it to the down, and we'll press Command or Backspace or Control or Delete in Windows to fill it with white. Now we'll just right-click on the layer, and we will convert it to the smart object. The smart object allows us to perform every steps on any layer undestructively in Photoshop. Now we will quickly make a gradient adjustment layer on it. We will select black and white, and just select the black color from this small square, and select gray as 50%. Press OK, and OK from here as well, and change the style to radial. Click on reverse, and then just increase it to somewhere 177 is fine, and change the angle to 60. Press OK, and drag this layer underneath to. Layer zero. Just press on the layer, Control T, and we will adjust it a little bit here. Now we will call it model, and we will do Command J or Control J in Windows, and we will rename the copy of model to Stretch, and then we will drag model layer underneath to the gradient layer, and uh, we will just click on it and right click. On the gradient fill, and create clipping mask, so that entire effect would be restricted to the model layer only. We will disable this stretch layer for time being. Now, after achieving this gradient fill, we will just drag it to the bottom, and we'll delete this layer. We don't require it. Okay, we have this model gradient fill layer and the stretch. Right. Now we will go to adjustment layer, and we will choose the gradient map, and we will click on this clipping. And after achieving it, we'll just make another adjustment layer for the black and white, and again we'll press the clipping. So the effects of these two layers would be applied to this model layer only. And just click on black and white, change its blending mode to soft light, and decrease the opacity to somewhere 50 or 60 percent. Now just quickly go to your model layer and apply a black mask on it. And if it is white, just press Command or I to invert, and select the brush, and just select any smoke brush. If you do not have these brushes, please don't worry. Just message us or comment us 
We will just sand all the brush to you right away. And after selecting the brush, select the model layer masking and we'll start applying the effect. But before doing that, we'll just double click on this masking and we will decrease the density a bit so that we can see what is going on in the background. And after doing the effect, we can just reset back to the 100%. So let's start. We just select this particular option and we'll go to the brush setting so that we can use this wheel to rotate the size of the brush. Now after achieving it, just double click on it and increase the density to 100%. Perfect. So we can see what kind of effect we are having this part of time. All right. So just click on the model layer, the same masking, and we will change the brush to soft round. We will decrease it and we will just paint on the front area of the face. And we will remove the collar of the model. We have again selected the smoke brush and we will little bit apply on the face again. So we can just improvise the texture as per our requirements. Press Ctrl or Command 0 once you have achieved. Now we will go to our stretch layer and we will enable it now. And we will select gradient map and uh, this black and white. And we will make the copy of these both the layers for the stretch layer as well. We will press and hold Alt and we'll drag these both layers onto the stretch. So we'll get the effect, same effect here as well. And we will just select one by one both the layers and we'll do clipping as well. And now we will again just go to the levels. We'll enable the clipping and we'll make it a little darker. Now just select the stretch layer. Go to filter and liquify. Now we will use the freeze mask to actually freeze the front area of the model image because we don't want the liquify to be affected on this area. How to use liquify tune? We have already made so many sessions. Please watch I button area for the description and just select forward wrap tool and stretch it. Once achieved, just press OK, select the stretch layer, make the mask and then do command I to invert. Now this particular stretch layer is hidden due to the black mask and we will again select the same brush which we selected earlier. Select the stretch layer, we will make sure the foreground color is selected as white and we will start effect, perfect. Just open the brush settings to rotate the wheel. Now perfect, once you have achieved it, you will see that you have really got the amazing results. And uh, finally, we'll just make a curve layer and we will adjust the darkness and contrast of this particular image. And the exposure, little offset and the gamma correction. Now you have achieved the wonderful results and we will quickly see what we have achieved with it. So we just drag the image here to have a look. So we started with this image and we have achieved this wonderful results. This is before, after, before, after. This is so amazing. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. All right, so Jesse ke bhi aapne dekha kitni asani se aur effectively humne smoke effect generate kiya Photoshop mein. Ye technique aap use karte hue bahut hi sundar results achieve kar sakte hain kisi bhi image mein smoke texture add kar sakte hain. And in case you find any difficulty using Photoshop or photography, you can just comment in comment section or you can visit our website www.anubhavshahphotography.com. And if you have not subscribed my channel right now, please go and subscribe and hit the bell icon. बहुत जल्दी लौटेंगे एक नया fresh dedicated episode आपके लिए लेकर. Meanwhile, stay fit, stay healthy, be happy. This is Anubhav Sharma from Anubhav Shah Photography. Signing off.